Moham Diva, and I just wanted to come on and give you a short disclaimer. First of all, my husband and I are safe. We're staying in and only going out when it's absolutely necessary. So don't think that I've been out touring mobile homes because the video that I'm sharing with you today is actually a video that I've never posted before that I filmed about three, four weeks ago. It was when I went to Milledgeville. So you've seen other videos in this series. I have maybe four or five videos that I've not shared before and I've been trying to stretch them out, uh, only posting once a week. So, um... That is why I am able to have video for you now, mobile home tours. Another thing I want to share is this actual mobile home dealer does not post prices. So no need to ask me in the comment section how much it is. I don't know. You'll have to give them a call. So I'm listing all of their information down in the description box. I also want to say that this home is empty that I'm touring, but I have some beautiful decor pics at the end of the video. So stay tuned to the end so you can see those pictures. Thank you so much and you have a great day. Hi hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at this home. Now I'm on the side of the house but I wanted to give you an idea of what, this is the side door, okay? So let's walk around to the front. This home is made by Hamilton. Excuse me, this home is made by Sunshine. All right, so this is home is made by Sunshine Homes. Uh, doesn't have the name of the home. It's really pretty, I love the color. I love the shape of it. And again, I wanted you to see the side door so let's go ahead inside away from these outside notices noises and take a look love the door really pretty really pretty I'm gonna take my shoes off because they my feet are hurting all right again this home is made by sunshine homes oh this carpet feels really nice under my feet okay so this is the living room where i came in white ceiling fan usually they're dark this one has a white ceiling fan the birds sound So loud. All right, I may need to. I'm gonna need to close this uh, screen door here. But this is your living room, and it opens up into the kitchen. White cabinets in the kitchen. Huge countertop. Huge island. Love the gray swirl in the countertops. You have a built-in microwave, antique white cabinets. You have a cream white or beige subway towel, a large subway towel. No, that's so big, I don't know if it would be considered subway towel. Um, no, it's just tile. Um, ceramic top in here. Got your window over your, your farm sink. Stainless steel appliances. Double refrigerator. Really nice. Lots of storage in this kitchen. Really pretty. Got a pantry in here always a good thing spare no expense on the pantry I love the shelving and I love how many shelves there are no wire racks in this one you guys really nice and I even like the shelving all the way up there because that's where appliances that you don't use all the time would go 
you still have access to them. Really nice. Really, really nice. Always a nice feature. Love it. These are the actual cabinets. These aren't the kind with no backs, the cheap ones. Every home that I've been in today, these are the real cabinets. So really nice. Really, really nice. You have your dining room over here. You've got can lights in the dining room and the kitchen. Six in the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the kitchen and two in the dining room. Love the arch into that side of the house. You got double windows in the dining room. Really nice. So here's your view. You're sitting at the dining room table. You can see into the kitchen and the living room. Great entertaining space. Love the open feel. All right, let's go and check out the guest bedrooms first. Again, there's an archway that leads down this side of the house. The first room um, to the left is the guest bathroom. It has a transom window over the shower. There's your sink toilet. And I love the oval shaped mirror which is a nice touch normally there's just a regular rectangular mirror so really nice i just wanted y'all to see me <laughs> next to the guest bedroom is the laundry room now this is that side door that we saw from outside there is also a transom window in here your you could probably put, I would, you could put um, a, some, either more counter space over here. You could stick a desk over there. You could put a deep freezer and some more shelving for storage over there. Your washer and dryer goes over here. This is a huge room. Um, so you could do a lot in here. I say other counter space because you can have a space to fold clothes over there. You can put the hampers over there. You can do whatever you like in this room, but look how big this laundry room is. Huge, really nice. And the transom window is a nice touch. Very good. So across from the laundry room is a guest bedroom. I just sink down in this carpet. This is the first time I felt like this on carpet in one of these homes. Really nice. Huge guest bedroom. You've got a walk-in closet in here. And then I'll give you another pan of the room. Very nice. Next to that guest bedroom and across from the guest bathroom is your other guest bedroom. So this is a three bedroom, two baths. Let's take a look at your closet. It's kind of corner, so I'm sure it's a walk-in. Yep. Really nice. And it has extra shelving right there for more stuff. They love me. <laughs> they love me. They thought of me. Really nice. So this side of the house is two bedrooms, a guest bath, and a huge laundry room, which by the way is the size of a bedroom. 
Very nice. So let's walk back through. This is the dining room, kitchen, living room combination. We'll walk over here to the master bedroom, which is off the living room. Nice size master bedroom. No seams in here. I know that's what my y'all be looking for. <laughs> Does that house have seams? Nope. Just a nice drywall. Really nice. So that's your guest bedroom. Let's look at the guest bathroom. So when you walk into the guest bathroom, you have your double sinks here, long counter, so you both have plenty of room. There are those oval mirrors, such a nice feature. I would probably put one in the middle too, just cause, I don't know. Or you no, know, a nice piece of wall art would go pretty there. You don't need another mirror. You've got a window that opens in this bathroom. There's your shower with the two benches in there. You've got your garden tub here. That's your garden tub. It's got frosted glass. Your toilet is there. And then your master closet is in here. Huge, huge closet. I'm in here. I know it's kind of dark, but I wanted to give you an idea of just how big the closet is. So it's separate, right? So it's clearly his and her. There's this wall here. And then you've got all of the space to the left. And you've got all of the space to the right. Me and my husband would not have a problem. Very nice. So let's pan the room again. You got your toilet here. So if somebody's at the sink, you got a little privacy. Not a door, but a little privacy. You got your sinks there. Shower. And garden tub. Really nice. Again, this home is made by Sunshine Homes and it's here at Sinclair Oconee Mobile Homes in Milledgeville, Georgia. All of their information is in the description box. They don't post prices. So if you have any questions, you'd like to know how much it costs or if you can get it in your area, any questions, Give them a call. Their information is in the description box. Thanks so much for watching The Mobile Home Diva. I don't have to party to have fun, you see. I got different hobbies and that's all I need. Some say life is boring, but I disagree. Disagree. I wake up and live my dreams.